Paul Thomas Anderson is really a master of presenting macabre stories, but through a more dreamlike lens. Mm. I think with your character particularly, that's really the case. She's seen mm. in a lot of dreamlike flashback sequences. I was wondering if that affected your approach at all. Well, it would be so great when you're playing a complicated character to know that you're um, in the hands of someone who can uh, juggle a lot of different, uh, uh, you know, um, tones and um, qualities all at once, you know, and I just, it's, it, it seems astonishing to me how much uh, Paul can pack in to his films and allow to sort of be uh, functioning together simultaneously. And I guess I sort of attempt to do the same thing in my work to try to fit in as much as, as I think is there, you know, or could be there. And certainly with, um, with Pinchon's writing, there's just there, all of the characters are, are complicated, and you know you want to honor that. And with his work and, and this film in general, I think it's so difficult to categorize. People are kind of calling it a psychedelic noir, and you can see elements of inspiration from films and works of literature that have come before mm. it. But I was wondering for you, what did you derive inspiration from, and sort of what came up while you were on set? Because I know Paul gives people a lot of freedom yeah. when they're working on set, so. I mean, I love that it's hard to categorize because I, I really believe that there's not another movie like it. And, you know, when there's nothing else like something, it's hard to put it in a category. The category maybe doesn't exist. Um, and uh, so I love that. And then what an inspiration on set. You know, I really I relied pretty heavily on the novel and um, uh, went back to it almost every day while we were shooting. Um, and it was... Um, a really generous companion to have uh, just kind of helped me stay rooted in um, in the world of it uh, just kind of the feeling of it uh, and um, that's sort of a wishy-washy kind of vague answer but it was important to me to stay connected to the, to the mood and the tone of it because, you know, when you have the task of the day, whatever the scene is, that takes a lot of your focus and energy, and I would just sort of use it as a check-in, you know. Um, am I still on the right track? Am I still living in this world? Okay, you know. And it is such a fascinating world because it's, you know, the tail end of the 60s into the 70s, and I think that's a period of time that you can comparatively say a lot of the themes pertain to today and what's going on. Did you find that that was the case, that there's sort of a thread that binds the two? Yeah. Things? Well, I, th I definitely think, you know, people are certainly confused and not sure what to make of what was going on back then, and I see that a lot today, yeah, so I, I do see that connection.